It's like minty. It's like. Whoa. All right, you guys, we're finally filming our hygiene video. Today I am here at Target picking some more of my products that I use up. The music is kind of loud, so I'm gonna take a lot of these things home and we're gonna talk about them once we get there. But I just wanna let you guys know that I've been everything from Target. And when this video come out, it'll still be Target Circle Week, so you can come get them and they have a lot of deals going on right now. So that's good, y'all. So right now I'm in the aisle with the deodorants and I'm gonna just show you some of the deodorants that I like to use. So this is a spray deodorant. I usually use this like if I'm in a rush. Oh, this smells good. I never smelled this one. Grapefruit. That's what it smells like, but it says citrus zest and sage. I stick to Dove for deodorant. I used to use Degree growing up, but me, I use Dove because I feel like the scents are not overpowering and it won't like clash with my like cologne and stuff like that because sometimes degree can be very loud so i like dove the only thing i wish dove would do is come out with more scents um they really only have three that i use they got the um clean got cool i want to do the clean comfort smell different from the regular clean You don't. But I absolutely love this scent right here in the deodorant. I wish they came with the um, the one you roll up under, but this spray one smells so good. I always get this, so I got some of this. When it comes to body washes, ugh, they got some bomb body washes here at Target. I normally use the Cremo. Cremo is very, really good, but I've been using Dove, so I got the Dove Women's body wash it smells so much better than the men's ones because the, like I said they only have like maybe three or four cents in the men's don't get me wrong they smell good so right here this one extra fresh smells very good this is on sale right now this is normally $10.99 but today is $9.99 I always use just for men products for my beard and my hair for hygiene for me is dyeing my hair it's a part of hygiene, getting the haircut, grooming, all that stuff to me is the same. So I, um, I'm um, i running low of this and it's on sale. So I'm gonna pick this up. Now we're in an area with more body washes. These are the women's body wash. I feel like they have more scents. Like they have so many more scents than the men's do. So we're gonna smell some of these. Oh, this is real fruity. This is like an acai bowl. That's what it smell like and that's the name of it. How crazy. Berry Balance. Oh, that smells so good. Wine down. Chamomile, starflower, and blue lavender. It smells good, too. I don't like this one. Pure piece. I don't really smell like nothing. I think I'm going to go with this one here. I'm looking for a toothpaste. Okay, so for toothpaste, is for me personally, fluoride and toothpaste makes my stomach hurt. Like after I brush my teeth, sometimes I like my stomach hurt really bad, and I have to like, you know, do the do. So I try to get um, fluoride-free toothpaste, and I also use Hello which is an active charcoal toothpaste. So it's good for like, you know, helping your teeth get white, whitening your teeth. I like that. I just seen this for the very first time. It's a vitamin C whitening, two shades whiter. The sparkle. I don't know. It's on sale for $4.99. I wonder, should I get it? No, I'm gonna put it to the side. Then we're in the mouthwash area. 
So for a mouthwash, I normally use Smart Mouth. They don't have it. Where is it? Mouthwash, they have so many different brands of mouthwash. We normally have like Crest or Scope or anything like that, but if you really want to get a mouthwash designed for your type of mouth, you get what I'm saying? Some people have dry mouth. People want to focus on not having cavities. Some people want to um, have like fresh breath for, for longer. And then some people want to whiten their teeth. Some people want uh, healthy gums. So with their breath, they have what you want. They have different formulas I guess for what you're looking for your mouth rinse so they got whitening fresh breath they have just fresh breath I think I want to do the whitening and fresh breath like why not do both like two in one but then this fresh breath one is supposed to last for 24 hours like what you who don't want fresh breath for 24 hours there's so many you can choose from we'll get this one with the healthy gums Whitening, fresh breath, vent cavities for deep clean overnight oil rinse right here. All right, I'm looking for Dr. Browner's peppermint. I love this. I get this one, but they have so many different ones you can choose from. So many different ones you can put. Let's get some lotion. All right, you guys, now we're getting some body care, some lotion and oils and stuff like that. For me personally, um, I like using the EOS lotions now, but I also always go back to like Jergens or Nivea, like the old school lotions. I don't have a problem with using those at all, but I love the way this make my body feel. Like it's super moisturizing. My favorite scent, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I like the cashmere vanilla. I think that's what I'm gonna pick up today. Okay, and since we're over here about the oils and things like that, I'm gonna tell y'all about the Alvino oil. This. Right here, daily moisturizing oil. This is something that you want to put on fresh out the shower. Yo, we was over there by the toothpaste and the mouthwash, but I forgot to pick up a toothbrush. How often do you guys change your toothbrushes? We got hygiene. A lot of it too. I know I've been saying I was going to do a hygiene video for so long. I'm finally doing it. I racked up a lot of stuff. I do have a few clips of me in Target, but the music was kind of loud and it was a lot of people in there. So it was a little awkward. I was in the lane. I didn't care, but people was coming down the lanes and in the same lane as me. It was just a lot. Like I should have went earlier in the day. It was kind of late, but um, we're going to get it started. I don't know where to start because I kind of separated. Right, so we're going to start our hygiene routine video off with oral care first. Okay. Oral hygiene is very important because you don't want them to smell your breath before they see you coming. You want them to smell your cologne before, okay? So we're gonna make sure we get that halitosis and that bad breath and them gummy, uh, gummy bear teeth together. We don't want that in 2024, okay? So make sure you're brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth and using mouthwash and flossing and scraping your tongue, you gotta do all of that, okay? I'm tired, baby. All right, so first things first. Depending on what you prefer for toothpaste, like me personally, I know that fluoride, any toothpaste with fluoride upsets my stomach and I feel like after a while, you start, you know how sometimes you can see your breath can smell like you hungry? Like it got a little odor to it. Like it don't mean it stank, but it's just a little odor to it because maybe you didn't brush too much. You didn't brush, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't brush it right. Sometimes you don't brush your teeth like you're supposed to. You think you're doing a good job, but you don't. That's because you're lacking some things. You ain't got everything together that you need. Um, so we're going to fix that right now. We're going to fix it. Um, you can either get fluoride toothpaste or fluoride free. I prefer fluoride free, um, free because it be making my stomach hurt sometimes. The fluoride in it. So I like to use this brand Hello. It is activated charcoal toothpaste. We love fluoride free. Also, make sure that you are changing your toothbrush out. I brought new toothbrushes. Okay, go to the dentist. Make sure you got your your, your teeth together. Okay. Um, cavities like you no matter how much you brush your teeth if you have cavities and, and things that's not right with your mouth it don't matter you, it's still gonna have some type of scent you're gonna have some type of odor so make sure you go to the doctor and the dentist to get everything you need 
taken care of. You can't mask or hide certain odors. You just don't brush your teeth good enough or floss good enough or scrape your tongue good enough or use mouthwash. We can, we can, we can fix stuff like that. But some things you have to go to the dentist for. So that's very important that you maintain healthy oral hygiene. So make sure you, you, you go to the dentist. Make sure you get you a nice toothbrush. Now me personally, I used to like using like a harder toothbrush, but I guess a lot of dentists and stuff are recommending soft bristles because you can mess up your gums and you can scrape off the enamel of your teeth. So a lot of people are going with the soft their toothbrushes. So I have me this one I just picked up today from Colgate. Um, I normally use a regular toothbrush without any vibration or anything like that. But I had ordered this one from TikTok. It was like an essential toothbrush that had like a ultrasonic wave. It was from a dentist. So I purchased his toothbrush and that's the reason why I just went and bought this one because it does the same thing that one does. And I needed it today. so. Make sure you cop a new toothbrush every so often. I think it's every month or every two months. I would say every three months max, right? Hey Siri, how often should you replace your toothbrush? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, you should replace a manual toothbrush every three to four months. I picked up this new toothpaste from Hello as well. I never tried this one before. It is a whitening toothpaste. It is supposed to whiten your teeth two shades whiter. So we're going to give this a try. This is also fluoride free. And I want to tell you guys an essential thing that you need for your breath. There's two of them. The people I don't think everybody use. You know what I'm saying? They, they sleep on it a little bit, but it's very important. You need to floss. Okay, you don't have to use one of these. You can use regular traditional floss or, you know, whatever brand of a floss stick that you choose. But it's very important to floss, especially if you have any, like, little gaps and spots in your teeth that's, you know. Like, I have, like, two that I tried to get fixed. I always keep these on me because it feels so uncomfortable when there's anything stuck in my teeth. Like, I, that's, like, one of the biggest things. I hate having meat stuck in my teeth so i always try to keep some of these on me i got a little case it's like a little travel case where like like maybe six of them can fit in there and then when i brush my teeth i use a tongue scraper okay now i know they have the ones that you could throw away i think Graham is the brand they have the ones that you can dispose of and stuff like that those are cool or whatever but they're small and who i i i got I be gagging when I brush my teeth or scraping my tongue. So I'd rather just do it with one, two, baby, a few times and get it over with versus using that little one. Ah, right? wide tongue. Who gonna keep doing that? Get you a metal one, clean it, disinfect it, put it in like a Ziploc bag or something like that, put it in a drawer, you know, get it over with. Just scrape it. Get it good. You gotta scrape your tongue. You gotta scrape your tongue. That's gonna help with the odor. And, and, and like the hunger breath smell. Like after a while when you feel like you didn't brush your teeth good and you feel like you got a little shit on your tongue. That's what you need, a tongue scraper. <clears throat> get that together. Also get you a good mouthwash. A good mouthwash. I like TheraBreath and I also like Smart Mouth or I forgot the name. I'm gonna put it on the screen if I remember it. Put it on the screen. The other brand and it's like um, two different formulas and then you mix it together once you pour it in the container. And it's supposed to last like 24 hours with fresh breath. But this one right here, the fresh breath oral rinse, is supposed to last for 24 hours. This is a good one. And what I like about this brand is whatever you're dealing with, like if you got dry mouth, they have a mouthwash for people who have dry mouth. Whatever your issue is, they have a mouthwash for that, okay? It's a little pricey. I think this mouthwash was like $14, $13 something. But it's good and it's worth it. If you're on the go and you're out, when you do get that little hungry uh, breath smell or tired breath, you know, your breath don't be, when you be out for a long time or you're at work or you, 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 you've you been drinking or you've been eating and you might not have a chance to brush your teeth or anything like that, they do have mini toothbrushes that you can buy and dispose of, disposable toothbrushes that you can get and stuff like that. But the thing is with a lot of men, we don't really have men bags. Now, I carry one because I certain things, you know, I just need on me, like 
some gum or a little cologne or a little brush, a comb for my beard, batteries for my camera, um, a phone charger, like little stuff like that. I, I need on me, you know? So I do carry a bag, but some men don't carry man bags. So it makes it a little difficult for you to have the things that you need to keep your hygiene up. But you need to get one of these. It's a little three pack. They don't have they don't have to have a three pack. Especially if you're macking, you're trying to get on the girls, you're trying to mac, whatever do what you're trying to do. Put one of these little Listerine things on your tongue before you walk up. And you don't have to have gum in your mouth, you know. Sometimes the gum will fall out or or you don't have any gum. You get one of these. Just just one, and it's gonna dissolve on your tongue. It's gonna, like you just look out the bathroom for brushing your teeth when you walk up into somebody's face. You need this. You need this. Get your one. Get your pack. It's gonna help you out. Listerine. They got the little ones you spray in your mouth too, like Banaka or, you know the little Listerine thing you spray in your mouth? Especially if you've been out drinking. I feel like when you've been out in the club drinking and eating or whatever, you had an onion burger or something like that. It's gonna have a little loud smell. You're out. You gotta remember you're outside. Get you something. Gum don't always work. I'm trying to tell you from experience. Some people like, let me get a piece of gum. They give you some flavorful bubble mint gum or watermelon gum. So your breath be smelling like watermelon and a hint of ass or a hint of shit. You don't want that. You need some real something real okay so get you some of these i don't know if y'all don't take me serious or not but i'm dead serious okay so that's enough for the oral i think we, we hit the, the mark on that it's important make sure you go to the dentist that's a part of the hygiene okay but the stuff that you can this bit of mosquito oh hell no did you see it oh man i think that was a skeeter oh man what the hell I hope did I get it? I hope it didn't get me. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I guess body is next. So we're gonna start doing full body hygiene, but I'm gonna start at my head. Okay. So to me personally, I love to keep my hair cut, and if I don't have my hair cut, I don't feel like myself. You know, like I I just be a little off. And another thing with my hair is I always had gray hair, like prematurely. Uh, it, it kind of runs on my family, so we have gray hair at a very young age. My nephew, who is like, he just turned, what, six? He has gray hair. He got like maybe like six of them on the top of his head. So that's how prematurely we turn gray, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like having gray hair. I don't like it. I, I don't know. It's just something about it. A lot of people be like, you should just grow it out. You should do this. Mm, not for me. So I keep me some dye. Um, I usually get the one with jet black with the black man on there, but a lot of targets don't have it in stock You will find that probably at a beauty supply store But um, this is you know, this will work just as well. It's like a shampoo all in one So I dye my hair with this I, um, Put it all over my head put it in my beard and um, Let it sit for a couple minutes. I try not to get it on my skin because it will stain your skin um, but it's no worry if it does scan your skin, it will just be for a couple, you know, a couple hours. The oils in your skin and stuff like that to bring it out. But sometimes when it, I'm in between dyes and I, you know, I probably just dye my hair and it's coming back quicker, I'll use this right here. It's just for men as well. But this is like a, um, a one day beard color. So you can use it. It's like a, a mascara, if you will. A little wine and it has the dye concoction in here it's not like dye that it'll run off you know what i'm saying like that or like i have some in right now in my beard you probably couldn't even tell but it dries on and it sticks on there for a whole day like it'll be on all day and i love this in between when i'm not freshly dyed you see what i'm saying it'll turn this into this so I use it in between. I'll just, you know, freshen up my hairline or if I'm graying, the gray is showing right here. I'll just, you know, take care of myself with this. Another essential thing is when I don't have a haircut and um, my lining is not fresh, I don't shave. I think um, as a young boy, before I even had fresh hair, my father was like, never shave your hair. Our hair too fine because our hair is kind of thin. He was like, never shave with a, a razor 
because you'll get hair bumps real bad. And he used to tell me that as he's in the mirror in the bathroom, tweezing, plucking out like hair bumps and stuff like that out of his face. So it kind of stuck to me. And I use the same thing for my facial hair as my barber. I got some Andes clippers, the liners and trimmers. And I use these to line myself up or shave the hair off of my um, neck and, you know, in between haircuts when my hair is not cut just to maintain, you know, how I look. I got these Andes. You can get them from the beauty supply store or on Amazon, of course. I'll link these below. I feel like these work better for me um, with my skin type and the way that um, I'll get hair bumps if I was to get the hair off completely with the razor because with the razor is really close close shaves so the hair will get stuck the follicles will get stuck in your skin and that's how you know hair bumps are caused um i also have something for the hair bumps that help you prevent the hair bumps so after i do the clippers you know do the uh, hairs and everything around my neck and around my beard you know just to make sure i am good i use this right here from topicals what this does it is helps it's an ingrown tonic so it helps prevent ingrowns i put this on after i cut my hair after i get my hair cut so after i wash my face today i went to the barber shop earlier i thought wash my face today i'm going to put this on where all of the hair was cut from this right here it really 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 works like i got this from sephora I'm going to link everything. It comes like a roller ball right here. And it helps you with your ingrown hairs. This is good for men and women. Wherever you shave or get waxed or anything where hair grows and it's gone. You got to cut off any type of thing like that. And you can get an ingrown. You put this and it helps you. Okay. I'm trying to get you, to get you together. Get this, because there's a lot of people who have hair bumps or bumps from hair on their face and they can't get rid of them and you can't prevent them or you don't know what you need to get rid of them or to prevent them. This does both. If I have a bump, a hair bump, and I put this on it the next day for some reason, I don't know, it's good enough where I can pull the hair out. Like I could pull a little hair out of the bump and it'll go down. So get you some of this. This is a must. It is called Topicals Ingrown Tonic. Okay. Oh, it's called a high roller. A high roller from Topicals Ingrown Tonic. Okay. This is how it looks. I recommend this. Highly recommend this. Then we're going to get into other things that I use for my hair to, to maintain my beard or my, you know, the ways be waving. Get you a nice little brush. But I also like the Mikael. This is what I call it, Mikael, but it's Mayel products. They're sold at Target as well. I use their um, Rose, what is it? Rosemary Mint Scalp Hair Strengthening Oil. And then this is the Rosemary Daily Styling Cream. I put this in my beard and in my hair, both products. This is the oil and this is the daily styling cream. I uh, put this on my hair and tie it down. And I put this oil in my beard to keep it growing and keep it strong. It helps strengthen everything. I actually love these products. They have other products like I used to use their um, the uh, shampoo. They got the shampoo, the conditioner. They got the hair mask. They have the whole brand. It's all at Target. So I just picked that up from there. Mikael drops. That's what I call them. Mikael drops. And also for the fellas who are struggling to grow their beards or if it's patchy. Like for some reason with my beard per se, um, I, it, it'll break off in certain areas. Like it'll be patchy. It'll get patchy and it just break off in certain areas. I don't know if it's because of my pillows or my pillowcases not being satin all the time. Like sometimes, well, I have satin pillowcases, but sometimes I switch or in the middle of the night, I end up on a regular pillowcase or a cotton pillowcase. I don't know, but it always breaks off. But I try to run, I am on my grind and doing what I'm supposed to do. I'll use some black castor oil or some um, Jamaican black castor oil. This helps me with that issue. And also brushing my face, brushing your beard a lot 
helps with strengthening, I guess, and all of the dead hair, you know, it'll fall off and it just, you know, keep growing. A lot of people don't understand, but brushing your hair, even if there's no hair there, if you're trying to grow your beard, your beard, brush your beard, just brush it, keep brushing it. And eventually, I guess it'll form some type of follicles. I don't know how that works, but it always end up growing. Okay. It worked. That's how I got mine. Like it was patchy and it wouldn't connect in certain areas and I just kept brushing it and start connecting. If y'all want a skincare routine or what I use on my face as far as like products and stuff like that, let me know because I did not bring any skincare in here. I will go do a whole video. I have some Alvino skincare things, but I don't use that regularly. So let me know and I'll do a whole dedicated video with the skincare routine, okay? The everything in here, okay? All right, y'all, so moving along, we're gonna do the full body hygiene routine, and we're gonna talk about body washes and what I use to wash up and get my skin right. So, first thing I wanna say is get you an exfoliating rag. I like using exfoliating rags because after using it, I feel so clean and fresh. Like, I didn't scrub off the dead skin. I didn't scrub off the day. I just feel like, it was a good shower or a good bath or whatever if you prefer showers or baths. But get you a pair of exfoliating gloves. Exfoliating gloves. Okay, I got these from Target. I think they were like five bucks. I use these to exfoliate with. Or get you one of these. They have so many different kinds. But this one I use for my back. I put it on my arm like this and use it to wash my back because a lot of people I don't know if y'all wash your back but you can get back knee and acne like one day I was laying in the bed and I just you know put my arm like this and it was a little bump and like where is this coming from because your back sweats and when it's your back sweat that's that's how you start getting the little bumps and stuff like that for not cleaning your back properly it doesn't mean you're dirty it's just you're not cleaning your back properly so if you get you something like this to exfoliate your back that's how you help that okay so i got these two things this is a must and it goes very good with a scrub a body scrub i got this body scrub right here this is dove brown sugar and cocoa butter and it smells like a dessert it smells so good so use you an exfoliating glove and get you some body scrub to get your dead skin off and um it helps with people who have strawberry skin scrub your skin exfoliate your skin so you can have smoother skin i really highly recommend these i don't really use loofahs i use exfoliating gloves and a good rag to me to wash up i don't like a thick rag i like a cheap thin rag to really scrub and you know get in there i'll use a soft thick rag for like my face but for my body i prefer a thin rag like a little like a little 50 cent rag cheap little rag you know because i feel like i can clean myself the best with a cheap little flimsy rag versus a thick i don't know if that makes sense but trust me it works for me okay so i use these things to wash up but i also use a lot of body washes i personally love body washes and soaps got four of them right here okay four of them for me personally i wash up maybe two to three times in the shower each each time i wash up i use a different body wash so the first initial wash is going to be with an antibacterial soap either a dial antibacterial soap or something that is basically going to really clean my body so i really love using this pure classical soap dr burners the peppermint when i tell you now nah, on, on your bow, on, on your cojones. It's so minty fresh. It's it's like minty. It's like, whoo, it burn a little bit, but it feel good. It's like a good burn. It's just weird, but you know, I, I feel so clean after I get the little tingle. You do have to dilute this with a little water because it is pure and it is basically concentrated. So pour this in a um, container with water to dilute it. It's good for cleaning your beard as well. You can wash clothes with this thing. It's multi-purpose. What did it say? 18 things in one hemp peppermint you can do so many things with this okay but you have to dilute it so what i do is i pour a little in my hand make sure i got a little water in my hand and put it together or 
um, you know, pour it in the container. But I love this. The way it makes me feel after I use it, when I tell you, I feel clean as a baby. And I don't think a lot of men realize that you can mess up a female's pH balance if your pH balance is not taken care of, okay? So it's very important to clean yourself very good. You know what I'm saying? Clean yourself good before you're gone in there. Clean yourself good properly. This, it feels like a, a York peppermint palette down there at the, the mint of it. It feels good. You clean yourself with this, okay? Or <laughs> you don't want this one. They got so many different ones. They got, um, uh, they got the baby one that's not, uh, it's basically very sensitive. There's no scent. For the people who have sensitive skin or if it's too much, they got different scents of it. But I like this one. It made me feel real good. Um, this smells so good. This is an antibacterial care soap as well from Dove. It smells very, very good. Ooh, I wish y'all could smell it. It smells so good. So I always try to wash up first with an antibacterial soap or something that I know that's going to strip, strip the dirt off of me. Something that's going to make me clean. I mean, I want to be squeaky clean. After I clean myself with something that is antibacterial, I um, go to a, a body wash that's going to add some type of um, moisture back into my skin because like I said, I like to feel clean like slippery clean like squeaky clean but you know that's not healthy or good for your skin so you want to nourish it after you do that so i'll do a regular body wash or a body wash that got um a lot of moisture in it so i um picked up this today this is a method body um body wash it is the um uh one with coconut rice water and shea butter and it smells really good Smells good to me. So I got that. Picked that up today. And I picked up this Morocco Rose Foam and Shower Gel. And it's a hydrating oil complex in it. And it smells so good. I don't know about y'all, but listen, ladies got a lot of stuff. They got more varieties and they got more scents. They got more smells and deodorants and body washes and stuff like that. And I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? If you go over there, you know what I'm saying? Because you're washing up with it. And then when you be at your lady house or your cousin's house and they got a lot of the body washes, they got the stuff that's going to make your skin good. You Ain't nothing wrong with taking care of your skin. I don't know why society makes it feel like if you're taking care of your skin, you're not masculine, you're not man enough, but... Who wants to have raggedy skin? You get what I'm saying? Nobody wants that. So don't feel like you can't go over into the ladies aisle and get you some smell good because it's so, and it, it, and it smells good, okay? So after you wash yourself with um, something like that, I do that around like, you know, two times. It depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm, if I'm taking a shower, I got my little phone set up in my shower where I can watch a YouTube video. I'm watching YouTube in the shower, just washing myself. You know, I'm really taking care of myself. This is me time. I'm putting a lot of soap in and I'm cleaning really good, very thorough. My feet, my toes, my underarms, everything very good multiple times. So that's the body washes and then the soaps. Like I use bar soap too. Um, I like Dial. That's a really good soap or Dove. Dove soaps are very, very good. After I'm doing those things like that, right? As soon as I get out of the shower, after I done washed up and dried off and got everything good, I'm going to spray on some oil or put on some oil after I dried off a little, but I'm still damp. I'm not super wet, but I'm damp. I'm going to put on some type of oil. Now, this Alvino right here smells so good it, and it feels good like on your skin it is very moisturizing so i recommend trying the daily moisturizer oil it's a mist you spray it all over you know you rub it in and then as you're drying it's drying down with it okay or you can do some vaseline cocoa butter okay this it's gonna get you right every time. It's gonna get you right every time. Have you slick like Rick and oiled up, okay? You need something that's moisturizing that skin. You don't wanna feel like a cracker doll. Make sure you put it on the heels of your feet too. Then put some socks on, okay? So your feet can feel soft. 
We're gonna do that. Now, oh, 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 this is one too. This is one too. This is another oil. Okay, this is another oil that's really good from Palmer's Coconut. This is a good oil right here. So we got three different oils you can choose from. I recommend all three of them, Palmer's, Alvino, or Vaseline. You understand? We got options. We have options. We use them all. Good options for a good oil, okay? You want to put an oil on after that oil. Or even with that oil, you will to get you some lotion. You can mix it in with the oil. Or you can put it on after. Or you can choose one or the other. Depends on what you're doing. But this EOS right here. It's fine. Now it is soft and dainty. Smell that little cupcake. Okay. She might eat you up though. You know what I'm saying? It smell good. And you're mixing it though. You're mixing it with the cocoa butter. Because the the, all these oils smell like cocoa butter. You know what I'm saying? So you're mixing it with that. And then you got your body wash that you done put on. So you're you bringing the masculine out. You ain't done yet. You, you, you might smell like a little soft right now. With the lotion. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. We still putting on more stuff. We gonna masculine. Make it, make it smell masculine. Make it feel at least unisex. Okay? Because this smell is a little cupcake. You know? It's a little vanilla-y. It is, but it smells very good, and I'm telling you, and if you don't like this one, they have some that are um, not as soft and dainty, you know? They have one, uh, the coconut waters, that smells good, but it, mind you, the reason why I don't get that one is because all of my other products that I use has coconut in it already, and then I would just smell like a big old coconut. I don't want to smell like the uh, one coconut. I want to layer the scents, layer the things, so that's why I use this one with those products, okay? Hear me out, hear me out. This smells very good and it's moisturizing. You've been feeling so good and soft. You need it. Okay. So we got this lotion. I highly recommend it. Okay. Don't get discouraged by the smell. Because we, we lay in it with other scents. Remember that. Remember it. I ain't going to steal your own. Remember it. Okay. So we got the lotion, right? We got lotion on. We got lotion on. Now it's time to put your deodorant on. Put your deodorant on. I use Dove. I use Dove deodorant. I like Dove. I, I probably put a lot of deodorant on because I don't like to be musty. I don't like to smell musty. And I probably put too much sometimes. And I always did this when I was younger. Because I sweat, like my body sweat, my feet would sweat, like in between my legs, like my crouch, and like my, my, my boys down there be a little sweaty. And we don't want that. We don't like that. We don't want that smell. You get what I'm saying? It's getting warm out. It's the springtime. So, you know, odors happen, especially if you you bigger or you just, you know, whatever, leaving the gym, anything like that. You don't want to smell mustard or sour or anything like that. We sweat. Right, so I've always used the spray deodorant down there. I spray in between my, my legs on both sides and in the areas that sweat, you know. I'll spray this all around my private area to keep me from sweating and smelling fresh. I'll smell fresh 24 hours, you know, 12 hours. You will smell fresh, you're not gonna smell mustard or sour or like you didn't had a long day because you you know the friction the friction and the sweat and all that type of stuff and the heat you start smelling you don't want to smell i personally do not like smelling like anything other than good i don't want it to be mixed in a little must but a, but a little bit of funk i don't and, and a little bit of scent like i don't i don't like that i like to smell good all over Okay, so back in the day, um, I used to have like really, really bad sweaty feet. So I'll spray this on my feet because it'll prevent my feet from sweating, which will prevent my feet from stinking. You know, follow me. So 
I used to do this before they even came out with all over deodorant. They got full body deodorant now. It's Manscaped and this brand here, Mando, who came out with deodorant for your whole body. Whole body deodorant for pits, packages, and feet. These brands, like, you know, they're thinking of everything. This is for 72-hour odor control. So I picked this up to give it a try because I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is not... It's not promoting you. For, it's not telling you to spray this on your on your boys and on your feet. But it don't say you can't, you know. So that's what I always done. But the fact that they do now have products that's telling you it's safe on your on your boys and on your feet. Put it on your boys on your feet to crack of your ass, for you won't have no smell, you know. So I picked some up, and I'm gonna give it a little try. But I just want you to know that there's no excuse in 2024 for you to smell any type of way other than good. Unless that's your thing. And I don't know how many people like that. But you want to take care of yourself. You get what I'm saying? First impressions are everything. You want to smell good. It's very, very good to smell good. Like who wants a funky person? Nobody want to be funky. And if you don't know that you're funky. Or, or you don't want nobody to tell you that you're funky. Just... Look, walk up to somebody and be like, do I got a little odor? Do you do you think I got an odor? Or, or, hell, you know you got a little odor. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You don't got to spend a lot of money. You can just start small. You can start small. You can go to Dollar Tree and buy you some, some body washes and some soap. Just, just practice keeping up your hygiene. It's very important. Okay? But ain't nothing wrong with walking up to somebody who's close to you and asking them a question. Like, do you, you think I got a little... Like what? Just, just, just to make sure. I'm just saying. My friends will tell me. I don't ever have to worry about that because I know I be on my stuff. You know, unless and then I will tell you when I'm not. Like, hold on, I ain't taking a shower today. Back up. Give me a little, give me a little space. I ain't. I don't think I'm prepared. But anyway, let's go back to smelling good. So full body, right? I want to give a huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this part of the video or just sponsoring this video in general because I love Dossier. It is a company that make inspired fragrances. So what that means is if it's a brand like Louis Vuitton, y'all, I was supposed to refill this maybe two, three. Nah, maybe, no, not two, three. Let's go. Mm. Eight, nine. Eight, nine months ago. <laughs> I was supposed to refill this eight, nine months ago. I keep my bottle because um, my best friend bought me this and they have my initials on her. And with the uh, with Louis Vuitton, you can go and you can refill the bottle and it'll be, it ain't as expensive as it is buying a whole new bottle to get a refill. So just if you, you know, ever was interested, you could. But I never got around to doing it because I started working with Dossier. And if y'all don't know, Dossier is not a stranger to my channel. And they have an inspired fragrance that smells just like this bottle of cologne that's $295 on their website. I wanna say this is like is 29, 49 or 59 bucks, right? And it smells just like this. It projects just like this. This cologne is loud. You can smell me before you see me with this one as well. Okay, this one is aromatic ginger. And it's this in here. Okay, and it smells so good. Like, I order so many of these. I think I just gave my father a whole bottle. Like, I always get this, this, and I always get their um, version of Baccarat because it smells very good. The Ambery Saffron from Dossier as well. This is also an inspired fragrance, of course, because it's from Dossier and it smells so good, y'all. Whew, it smells so good and you would not know that it was Dossier if you didn't tell somebody like me. I'll be honest and they would be like, oh, what you wearing? I'm like, well, I'm wearing Dossier's version of Lamisite by Louis Vuitton. This is only like $49. Here's my link. You know, Life with Dame Dash 5. You can order you something to save a little money at checkout. 
you know, YouTube. Go ahead, order you some. The link is in the description box below. Check it out. Order you some to smell good. And when I tell you, I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm not going to steer you wrong. You need some. And you can layer your scents as well. Mix it with the lotions. You know what I'm saying? You need to put some scents and some, some colognes in your um, collection. It should be a part of your hygiene. Okay? It should be a part of your hygiene. I love Dossier because it's very affordable. This bottle right here is a 1.7 fluid ounce. I heard that they have a new size, which is like a full size bottle. This one you can take through um, TSA, a carry on bag, so you don't have any worries. This citrus matcha smells so good. This is um, an inspired by Le Labo. I hope y'all can see this because I don't know if it's focusing or not, but I promise you, you need to get some sense from Dossier, especially if you're just starting out. Me, personally, I was building my um, cologne game. I was getting a whole bunch of scents and, and, and colognes and stuff like that. And then when I started working with them, I kind of stopped. I was like, ooh, this smells so good. And those bottles are so expensive, $300, $400, $500. And they got it for $29, $39, $49. Whew. I just took a break. I took a pause and I just kept getting them from them. It's because it's that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to steer you wrong. It has a magnetic top. So you don't have to worry about it spilling out in your bag. I keep Dossier on me. I got so many in my closet. Like, it's taken over. I have more bottles of Dossier than I have regular cologne now. So <laughs> that should tell you something. Um, Yeah, so make sure y'all click the link in the description box. Get you some Dossier. And check out all of the links to order you some of these things, these products for your hygiene routine. And if there's anything I left off or you have any questions for any other things, just let me know. I'll be willing to answer any little question that you have. Um, and if you're new to the channel and you like what you've seen, go click on some other videos. And hopefully you subscribe to the channel and check your boy out. And let me know what other type of content videos you guys would like from me. And I gladly do it for y'all. Like, what's up? You know, skin hair. You know I'm saying I gotta do. It. Oh, you guys, I forgot one thing. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I forgot. Boom. Let's go back. <clears throat> I thought I was done with the with the with the hygiene routine, but I forgot about something that was very important. Wiping that ass. Wiping that ass is important. Washing that ass is important. Like, open your ass cheeks in the shower. Wash your ass, okay? Wash your ass. Care about how your ass smell is important, okay? I don't know who told you it wasn't. Get you some wipes. Get you some wipes, some type of wipe. Some type of wipe, okay? Now, I would use dude wipes, but we have an eight-year-old girl who lives here, and she'll just wipe her um, japonica with it, and it be, and it's minty. Like, the dude wipes got, like, a little minty um, feeling to it. So, that's why I don't buy those here anymore. I buy just the Cottonelle ones that is basically scent-free, and they're good. They're flushable. <clears throat> but get you some wipes um, because... If you want to talk about, um, I don't want to be inappropriate, but if you, that ass ain't clean and you, your girl going down there to try to give your friend a little visit, talk to your friend and get the whiff of that ass stinking because you ain't wiping that ass right and you ain't washing it right, that's a turn off. Okay? Get you some wipes for you don't have no uh, tissue balls down in your areas. Get 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 you some wipes. Wipe that ass with some wipes. Okay? Flushable. Okay, even if you sometimes it, the, the wipe might be a little wet and you don't want no wet ass. I understand that. Wipe it with this. Follow up with the tissue to dry it. There you go. That answer that. That fixed the situation. I don't know if you thought about that or you feel like using ass wipe or you don't like it. Get you some wipes. Wipe that ass. You're going you're gonna to feel fresh. Okay? Because sometimes, like, 
after you use the number two, it's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah, you don't even feel fresh no more. Like I would hate to do a shower and do all my routine and do all that, then gotta use the number two. And I ain't got no wipes. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Okay. Wipe that ass with some ass wipes and, and, and spread your sheets in the shower and wash your ass. Okay. All right. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And leave some comments down below. Yes, the young gun on one and I'm still a big P and I spell like Dallas, yeah. Rack on up, Eddie. Yeah. One of my diamonds a paddock, yeah. yeah. I got these niggas the maddest. Yeah. I'm dressing up like a salad, yeah. yeah. I said this, yeah. yeah. I said they be on the Eddie. Yeah. She done pulled up with no panties. Yeah. In my Los Angeles palace, yeah. yeah.